Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a powerful networking tool for Linux, the trace root command. Whether you're troubleshooting network issues or just curious about the path your data takes, trace root is an essential tool to have in your toolkit. Let's get started. So, what exactly is trace root? Traceroute is a command line tool used to track the path packets take from your computer to a destination host. It lists all the intermediate routers, also known as hops, between your machine and the target. This helps you understand the network path and identify any potential issues. First things first, let's make sure Traceroute is installed on your Linux machine. Most distributions have it installed by default, but if not, you can easily install it. For Fedora Rocky or Oracle Linux, you can use this command. For Arch Linux, you can use this command. Use this command to install Traceroute on OpenSUSE. I myself am on a Linux Mint machine, which is a Debian-based machine. I will use this command. You can use the same command on a Ubuntu machine. You can check the currently installed version of the traceroute command by using this command in your terminal. Now that we have traceroute installed, let's see how to use it. The basic syntax is simple. Replace host IP with the IP address of your destination device and options with the additional options of the command. For example, to trace the route to my site, Zaxtec, you would type the following. The command will trace the network path from your local machine to the server hosting the website. The output provides a step-by-step -step map of how your packets travel through the network including the various routers they pass through and the time it takes to reach each hop. This can help you diagnose where delays or issues are occurring in the network path. The first hop is my local router. The second hop is a router within my ISP's network. This command for trace root with the N option performs the same function as the standard trace root command, but with one key difference, it disables the DNS resolution of IP addresses to host names. By using the N option, tracer root skips the potentially time consuming step of resolving IP addresses to host names. This command with the M option is used to trace the network path from your local machine to the server hosting the website with a specific maximum number of hops. It will trace the route to my site, but will stop after six hops, even if it hasn't reached the destination. This command performs a network trace to the website with two specific options. The N option prevents trace route from resolving IP addresses to host names, which can speed up the process as no DNS lookups are performed. The I option uses ICMP ECHO instead of the default UDP packets for the trace route. Instead of using UDP packets, the default tracer route uses ICMP ECHO packets similar to what the ping command uses. This can be useful because some routers may handle ICMP packets differently than UDP packets, and it might bypass some firewall restrictions that block UDP tracer route packets. This command sends ICMP packets to the destination to obtain RTT with improved accuracy.
This command tracer route with the four option is used to trace the network path from your local machine to the server hosting the website, specifically using IPv4 addresses. If you want to use IP version 6, just replace the 4 with 6. This command with the T option performs a network trace to the website using TCP packets instead of the default UDP packets. Instead of using the default UDP packets, Traceroute uses TCP cyan packets. This can be useful in environments where UDP packets are blocked or rate limited by routers or firewalls, but TCP packets are allowed. This is especially useful for tracing routes to web servers, which typically accept TCP traffic on ports like 80 HTTP and 443 HTTPS. This command performs a network trace to the website with a specific option to send multiple probe packets per hop. It sends a series of packets to the destination. By default, it sends three packets per hop, but with the Q5 option, it sends five packets per hop instead. The Q option specifies the number of probe packets sent to each hop. By increasing the number of packets, you can get a more detailed and statistically significant measurement of the round trip times for each hop. Using the Q option allows you to get more granular data on the variability of round trip times, which can be useful for identifying intermittent issues or obtaining a more accurate measure of latency at each hop. This command with the option P performs a network trace to the website specifically sending packets to port 80 on the target server. The P option allows you to specify the destination port for the packets. In this case, port 80 is specified, which is the default port for HTTP traffic. Using the P80 option is particularly useful when diagnosing issues related to web traffic as it sends packets to the port typically used by web servers port 80 for HTTP, this can help identify if there are any specific issues or delays in the route to the web server at this port. This command performs a network trace to the website and redirects the output, which would normally be printed to the terminal, into a file named data.txt. By redirecting this output to a file, you can save the tracer route results for later analysis or reference. After running this command, you can open data.txt using a text editor or view its contents using commands like cat to see the saved tracer route output. This method is useful for documenting network routes or sharing diagnostic information with others. This command is used to display the help information for the trace route command. When you run this command, it typically prints out a summary of the usage and options available for tracer route. This output would typically provide you with enough information to understand how to use trace route and its various options to perform network diagnostics effectively. And there you have it, a quick guide to using the trace route command in Linux. Whether you're a network admin or just a curious tech enthusiast, trace route is a valuable tool to understand and troubleshoot your network. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.